Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Another chart expert has predicted that XRP will reach $25 this year. Just the other day, I was pointing out the viewpoint of an expert who was predicting a level around $27, while another analyst was aiming for $25. Although I am not an expert in predicting market movements, and I certainly don't pretend to be, I do value the insight provided by analysts who put their heads above water to study charts, make predictions, and set expectations for their followers. This much I will say, though, just because something sounds possible doesn't imply it actually will. I don't think that's ridiculous, though. The more money you add to the price, by the penny and the dollar, the less sure I will be. Of course that is. We have witnessed enormous explosions, though. Because of the way the market circulates throughout the entire process, it is somewhat dependent on how heated the crypto market overall becomes. Thus, whether it ends up circulating or not, the market gets hot enough and then XRP circulates. Oh, absolutely. That's totally doable. Anyway, I'll give you my take on things. But before we get any further, let me be clear. I am not providing financial advice and have no experience in the field. By the way, you shouldn't base any purchases or sales on what I say, okay? I simply like producing movies on YouTube about crypto and am an enthusiast. But that's only for pleasure and as a pastime. I am going to drink some water. Folks, I apologize. For better or worse, I do these in one take, even if they come out of nowhere. Whatever dweebish thing I say will be said. I just struck record when I launched this channel, that concludes it. No matter what, I simply wanted to rock. I want it to be as simple as us sitting on a terrace, drinking beer and simply talking about our views and opinions, I picture us being completely open and honest. Well, that's about it. My apologies for the runny nose. However, that is simply the channel's character. Regardless, XRP is just under 53 cents, a Bitcoin is worth $43,311, the asset class market size is $1.65 trillion, and the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is 55 out of 100. That is not shocking in the slightest, after a brief surge that saw Bitcoin and XRP soaring into the top 30,000s and 30,000s, respectively, we've been trading sideways for the past several days. So far, so good in terms of what's to come. This Bitcoin price chart was supplied by a trustworthy crypto chart analyst. According to my most recent video update, it makes sense that he mentioned encountering some opposition in our local region of supply. However, it appears that we have also finished an impulse to the upward on a modest time frame. Even if emotion is a correction, impulses usually arrive in pairs. If this pattern continues, we may see a higher low set up here, before another upward impulse sends us soaring back to the range highs. You might have to be patient and wait till tomorrow for something to happen because it's a Sunday. Obviously, that's right. You know, a few days goes by quickly, but crypto can only range for a certain amount of time before it becomes monotonous. Eventually, everything will move on. For XRP in particular, one of the most memorable periods of dull sideways price activity was around 2020, I don't recall precisely when months, but it was probably around July, August, or September. Those of you who were present may remember it all or at least have a good recollection of it. For a while, XRP was simply hanging around in the low 20-something cent level, maybe even 25 cents. For some reason, it appeared like it would stay put forever. That can't be done. It is very dull. Yet, thereafter, it halted, yes, indeed. In 2020, November came around. We hadn't seen anything like that in years, and it just took a few days for it to go from that range to 80 cents. Then the SEC lawsuit occurred, and I know how tough it always appears. I know it seems cliche, but trust me when I say that no matter how hard you try, eventually reality will teach you that nothing is impossible after all. What follows is the Dark Defender's take on the XRP chart. This morning, he laid forth his view. He scribbled a mountain of text on an XRP price chart. May you all be doing well. What about the daily schedule? Let's review it. 
Just as we predicted, XRP crept closer to 52 to 53 cents. In addition to breaking out of the RSI yesterday, XRP completed the day barely above yesterday's target range of 52.86 cents. This bodes well for XRP's imminent attempt at the 60 cents barrier level. The top orange line. It makes me glad to see that our levels are spot on. In a slumber as I work. After XRP breaks 66.49 cents, we will be overjoyed to move on to the initial Fibonacci objective of wave 3, which is $1.88. Time is running out, everyone. Also, I'd want to mention that before XRP reached 80 cents in 2020, sentiment was not great, in fact, it's even worse today. But if anything, that suggests that we may have hit rock bottom, which happens rather often, in my opinion. However, in 2020, I recall thinking it would never happen. It's going to happen, XRP will just be decreased. After then, the price of XRP jumped from $0.20 cents to $2, a move that took around 5 months. And that's the reason their price movement has been artificially suppressed, the SEC increased them from $0.20 cents to $2.10, which is a significant rise, maybe not quite as much, but nonetheless. When it occurs, it occurs quickly. Just because XRP's current price behavior doesn't mean it will eventually reach a new all-time high or fall to zero doesn't mean it will. It's only following the market's general direction. Another way of putting it is that it has little significance when taken alone. Nothing works. In contrast, this isn't from Love Crypto. These are the creatures I was talking about when I started the video. In case you forgot, there's two Greg Crypto, he's been phoning around for some time. If all goes according to plan, XRP might reach $27. That range is what most analysts, including him, think is plausible. Lib Crypto, a group of chart analysts, is aiming toward a goal, quite similar to that. Seven years of consolidation, he notes. Keep in mind that I am well aware of this. Although he believes it will occur later this year, the all-time high was little over six years ago. I find it hard to believe that it may be seven years before that happens. Yes, it does need patience. Without the SEC, I'm sure we would have witnessed it in 2021. However, regardless of our actions, we still cannot influence it. Patience is necessary. So be it, even when we despise it, it remains what it is. But seven years of consolidation. XRP's 2024 like the 2017 pump, XRP has a similar year, although with less percentage increases. Sometime this year, I want to reach my $25 goal. Pre-pump Q1 or Q2 is still likely to see a large shakeout to 25 to 30 cents, in my opinion. To be clear, he remains an XRP bull, despite his belief that the near future may bring far worse price movement. You may have seen that I am not shy about sharing both the favorable and bad opinions of experts on my channel, I provide the viewpoints of several analysts. I have this idea. Get them to admit it. It'll be interesting to see who turns out to be correct and who is incorrect as time goes on. Being a crypto nerd, I enjoy checking those stuff. I hope you all are crypto nerds as well. So, if you've been following my channel recently, you might have noticed that in my price-related videos, I've included several warning animals. It's possible that you might see something like 28 cents worth of XRP. On the other hand, you may be seeing XRP for 34 cents, quite a deal lower than our current position. Plus, they have no intention of frightening anyone. Hey, this is something that could work based on my chart analysis, is all they're saying. That's the point of view. A lot of them, based on what I've observed, believe it's more probable to happen if Bitcoin is at the forefront. That section makes sense, in my opinion. Everything will fall if Bitcoin has a disastrous meltdown. Normally, I'd agree with him, but he's arguing that, in the grand scheme of things, it's irrelevant. Still, he thinks $25 XRP is the most likely outcome this year. I have no idea if that will happen. But when such lofty goals are reached, anything looks impossible. Both before and after they take a blow, it becomes painfully clear. Yeah, I see. Obviously not. Yeah. 
It's O, oh, people. Another analyst, Mursky, who replied to Live Crypto, seemed to be rather suspicious. He continued by saying that at $25, the market cap is $1.25 trillion, and at fully diluted value, it's about $2.5 trillion. Clearly, the circulating supply is the sole basis for the 1.25. However, if you account for everything, you'll have an escrow, which isn't part of the circulating supply, though I disagree that it's a silly narrative. 2.5 trillion is what they're claiming, yeah. That sounds very reasonable to me. I've been advocating for a number of currencies to reach multi-trillion dollar market values for some time now. For quite some time. Yeah, we're going to have a multi-trillion dollar market cap at some point, I said that when the asset class was worth around $150 billion with a beat, but then we did, and that brought it down a bit. However, there will be individual coins with market capitalization that skyrocketed, which is fantastic news since it means we can have a shot at life-changing riches, while the rest of the world can wait two years and miss out. Very well. The response from LibCrypto, however, is as follows. It does sound like a stretch, my friend. In contrast, if the market valuation reaches $10 million, plus trillion, then XRP's 10% stake for a few days won't seem out of the ordinary. It has done this before, it is a momentum player, it slumbers for a long time before pumping, I anticipate a large dump at $25. That does sound like a reasonable point of view. I mean, I get the ideas behind this, and I'm not even a chart analyst. For example, suppose we reach the cycle's blow-off peak and Bitcoin reaches a new all-time high in terms of market valuation. We also have alternatives that might be considered if the market hits $10 trillion. Even if it is the correct number, I'm not sure, I'll simply have to go with it. Hold just a second, I want to tell you what you may be like. So, 12.5% of that is going to go to XRP? Sorry, but that's not how things operate. The reason being that if the peak is $10 million, that amount will continue to flow throughout the cycle. Coins would so explode at varied intervals. In other words, if we were to examine the top values of all coins once the cycle ended, the total would likely exceed $10 trillion, assuming a $10 trillion market cap. In fact, if you add up all the coins' peak values and then slap those figures together, the total would likely be closer to 30 40 to 50 trillion, or some far greater figure. Thus, the concept of XRP enjoying its time in the spotlight, even if it's only for a few weeks, like in 2017 and 2018, it lasted for around 2.5 weeks, or anything along those lines, is being considered. Regardless, it ran all the way to the peak, before tumbling down. So yeah, the plan is for it to last for two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks, a month, or however long it ends up being. And then, for a whole month, it holds a disproportionately large share of the whole cryptocurrency market capitalization. That isn't completely insane, no. In my opinion. I've seen that happen previously. For a lot of currencies, it has happened. At some time in the money cycle, that is, when profit is made. Afterwards, it will be transferred to coins that have not yet pumped. We consistently observe that. After then, you can be sure there will be a huge dump. You won't be able to run at $25 with XRP and remain there forever. It's time to be honest. But it is not to say that XRP is perfect. There's no getting around it. When people start making wild guesses about prices, tempers flare. The thought of it happening again, therefore, is not at all outlandish. Therefore, we must simply endure this stage, things have been quite dull as of late, but that's alright, things will begin to flare up at some point, after months of relative calm. Even today, to be honest, it wasn't all that dull. Although XRP was trading at around 54 cents, Bitcoin did reach over $43,000. On Sunday, there was some excitement, but what happens from here is anyone's guess. I have faith. My expertise does not extend to the realm of financial advisory services. You shouldn't base your purchases or sales on my advice. Please subscribe and like as always. See you later, bye.